Hey, and welcome back to another video. And today we're going to be simply explaining the fourth of five solid principles, the integration segregation principle. This principle states that clients should not be forced to depend on interfaces they do not use. Basically, this is saying that interfaces should be more focused and specific rather than having a large interface that provides a lot of methods, which may not be relevant to all classes that are implementing it. Let's just dive right into an example. Okay, so here we have a book interface with five methods, open, close, read, bookmark, and search. And then we have two classes implementing this interface, paperback book and audiobook. And because these classes implement the interface, we also have to implement each of their methods. Now the problem is that not all the methods defined in the book interface are relevant to both classes. For example, the search method may be specific to an electronic format, such as an ebook or an audiobook but not to a physical paperback book. That might be another method saying flipping pages or something. Now, what we'd have to do here to apply the interface segregation principle is we can split the book interface into smaller, more focused interfaces. All right, in our code, this is how it would look. We have the book interface with all the methods, and then we have the audiobook that implements them, and we also have the paperback book that also implements them. What we can do now is split the methods into two different interfaces, the readable can have four of them and the searchable has one, the search method. And the search method is only used by the audiobook. Let's see how this looks in a diagram. As I mentioned, we now have two interfaces, the readable and searchable. Now the readable only has the open, close, read and bookmark. No longer does it have the search method, which we took out and put into another interface. So the paperback book now only implements the readable interface, which means it also only implements those four methods. No longer does it need to implement the search method because it can't do anything with it anyways. We want it to be focused and specific. So now the audiobook implements the searchable and the readable interface because it can implement all five of those methods. Now let's go ahead and code this. All right, well, let's go ahead and separate out the book interface into two separate ones. Okay, now we have the readable and the searchable interfaces. All we have to do now is re-implement the audiobook and paperback book classes for these new interfaces. Okay, now for the paperback book class, all we need to do is implement the readable interface, not both of them. So when I go to do this, implements readable, it's only gonna have me implement the four methods instead of all five. And now we have fixed the code to conform to the interface segregation principle. Again, we don't want to force classes to implement methods that they don't need to. Here's a playlist on the other videos of solid principles that I've created. If you haven't watched them, go ahead and click this link so you can do so. If you have any questions or suggestions, put them in the comment section below and I'll get back to you. Have a wonderful day.